The chances are good that sugar is a bigger part of your daily diet than you may realize, which is why our story tonight is so important. New research coming out of some of America's most respected institutions is starting to find that sugar, the way many people are eating it today, is a toxin and could be a driving force behind some of this country's leading killers, including heart disease. As a result of these findings, an anti-sugar campaign has sprung up, led by Dr. Robert Lustig, a California endocrinologist, who believes the consumption of added sugars has plunged America into a public health crisis. Is sugar toxic? I believe it is. Do you ever worry that that just sounds a little bit over the top? Sure, all the time. But it's the truth. Dr. Robert Lustig is a pediatric endocrinologist at the University of California, San Francisco, and a pioneer in what is becoming a war against sugar. Deep breaths. Motivated by his own patients, too many sick and obese children, Dr. Lustig has concluded that sugar, more than any other substance, is to blame. What are all these various diseases that you say are linked to sugar? Obesity, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease itself. Lustig says the American lifestyle is killing us. And most of it, you say, is preventable. 75% of it is preventable. While Dr. Lustig has published a dozen scientific articles on the evils of sugar, it was his lecture on YouTube called Sugar, the Bitter Truth, that brought his message to the masses. I'm standing here today to recruit you in the war against bad food. By bad food, Dr. Lustig means the obvious things, such as table sugar, honey, syrup, sugary drinks and desserts, but also just about every processed food you can imagine, where sugar is often hidden. Yogurts and sauces, bread, even peanut butter. And what about the man-made, often vilified sweetener, high fructose corn syrup? Is it worse than just table sugar? No, because it's the exact same. They are basically equivalent. Problem is, they're both bad. They're both equally toxic. Ultimately, this is a public health crisis. And when it's a public health crisis, you have to do big things and you have to do them across the board. Tobacco and alcohol are perfect examples. We have made a conscious choice that we're not going to get rid of them, but we are going to limit their consumption. I think sugar belongs in this exact same wastebasket.